Taking question number 13 of exercise 2.1 from the chapter Inverse Trigonometrical Function of NCERT Maths Textbook Class 12. The question is it is an objective question and it says that if sin inverse x is equal to y then which of the option is is the correct option. Okay. Now to solve this question we first of all take the equation sin inverse x is equal to y if we take this equation then this equation suggests that the y can take the values of the range of sin inverse x the value of y would be those values or y can have only those values which is going to be the range of sin inverse of x that is a function of sin inverse okay now the range of sin inverse x is the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 or simply the principal value of sin inverse of x so we see that the b option is the option which suggests the range of sin inverse of x so the correct option is b which is going to be my required answer taking question number 14 of exercise 2.1 of the chapter inverse trigonometrical functions of ncert maths textbook class 12 The question is it is an objective question and it says that tan inverse of root 3 minus sec inverse of minus 2 is equal to which of the options a b c d okay now to solve this question what i'm going to do i'm going to calculate the principal value of tan inverse of root 3 and sec inverse of minus 2 and uh, solve it to get uh, get the result and after that i'm going to say which option is correct So for this I assume x is equal to tan inverse of root 3 which means that the principal value of tan inverse of root 3 is equal to x or this means that tan x is equal to root 3 because the value is positive so I can easily write that it is equal to tan pi by 3 because tan of 60 is equal to root 3 or therefore 60 is equal to uh, pi by 3 so I get x is equal to pi by 3 Now taking the second value that is sec inverse of minus 2 i assume that it is equal to y so y stands for the principal value of sec inverse of minus 2 so i had calculated the principal value of tan inverse of root 3 and i didn't have any problem because the value was positive here the value is negative the positive value always lies in the interval 0 to pi by 2 if we have to calculate the principal value so i didn't have any problem but here the value is negative so for this i should know the interval for which the principal value of the function sec inverse can be okay so first of all i write sec of y is equal to minus 2 and because the principal value of sec inverse function belongs to the interval 0 to pi excluding the element pi by 2 therefore i am going to calculate a value in terms of sec which is equal to minus 2 and it should be lying in the in this interval 0 to pi so i am going to calculate the value in the second quadrant okay so i can write sec y is equal to sec of 2 pi by 3 because sec of 120 degree is equal to minus 2 or and 120 which is equal to 2 pi by 3 so i can write y is equal to 2 pi by 3 okay now i have calculated the value of tan inverse root 3 and sec inverse of minus 2 now i can solve this value so i write the values both i which uh, both values which i have calculated in this expression to obtain pi by 3 minus 2 pi by 3 which would be equal to minus pi by 3 which is same as the option b so the correct option is b which is my required answer friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you